Rachel Madcow broke down into tears last night over President Trump throwing the immigrant children into cages and concentration camps. And stick with me because I'll show you footage of inside these horrible facilities that you won't see on the mainstream media. Lawyers and medical providers just... I think I'm gonna have to hand this off. Yeah. Sorry. That does it for us tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Now it is time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell where he is live in Brownsville, Texas. I'm sure you've seen the photos and the footage of what are actually just temporary processing centers that the liberal media is portraying as concentration camps and cages for the children. But here is what the actual centers look like. This footage was just released by the Department of Health and Human Services, which is responsible for looking after and protecting, feeding, and even educating the children. I didn't know that they had playstations and pool tables in concentration camps, did you? Wow, this looks just like the footage I've seen on the History Channel of the concentration camps. Look at these poor kids being forced to sit down at desks and go to class like a normal school. Look at these poor children in their prison uniforms of shorts and sneakers running around on a playground playing soccer. Gee, no wonder Laura Ingram said the facilities were like a summer camp. Something that caused the liberals to totally lose their minds and David Hogg is protesting her sponsors again. Oh, what's this? Oh, they're being fed fresh meals. These detention centers are just terrible. Oh wow, the walls are even decorated with paintings of superheroes. Looks like a really dark and dingy place. But according to the liberal lunatics, this is how the children are actually being treated. Professional illegal alien Jose Antonio Vargas tweeted out this picture of a poor child crying, stuck in a cage, saying this is what happens when the government believes People are illegal. Kids in cages. This actually is a real photo, but what happened here is the poor child's parent put them in a cage outside of a protest to show how the children in the American detention centers are supposedly being treated. I'm not kidding you, a liberal literally put their own little kid in a dog cage to supposedly protest illegal immigrants being detained at the American detention facilities. Former head of the NSA, General Michael Hayden, posted this picture of a concentration camp saying that other governments have separated mother and children too. Tom Morello, who played with Rage Against the Machine back in the day, tweeted out, Okay, people of good conscience and disgruntled vets, I'm thinking of putting together a children's liberation army to take on ICE. Who's in? I think referencing the Symbionese Liberation Army, a communist terrorist organization from the 1970s. You may have heard about them. They're the ones who kidnapped Patty Hearst and then went on a bank robbery spree. So to me, it appears that Tom Morello is putting the call out to create a terrorist organization. Also yesterday, the most popular Twitter account for the Occupy Wall Street bowel movement, remember those dirtbags from 2011? They tweeted out this graphic saying, what to do if you encounter an ICE agent and shows someone stabbing the ICE agent and cutting out their heart. Oh, by the way, 301 kids in a seven month period were apprehended with an adult posing as their parent who turned out not to be their parent, because apparently they're doing DNA tests on these people. And if they actually were to come through one of the dozens of ports of entry into the United States and declare that they needed asylum, then the parents would not have been separated from their children. The only ones who have been separated are people who are detained sneaking across the Rio Grande in the middle of the desert if you actually came through the normal ports of entry and said why you were there, they would bring you in and process them and keep the families with their kids until they figured out what to do with them. And what's really interesting about this whole thing is this is the first real political issue that Democrats have actually sunk their teeth into and started debating in a year and a half. It's been a year and a half of non-stop fantasies and paranoid delusions about the Russians and the conspiracies and Stormy Daniels. 
This actually is a real political issue. It took him a year and a half to finally find one to talk about. And I want you guys to know that I really appreciate you and I need you. Those of you who support this channel through Patreon and PayPal and all you guys who get my shirts and my books because as you probably know, videos like this are non-advertiser friendly. Topics about sensitive issues, sensitive social issues, almost always automatically demonetized by YouTube. Just like yesterday's video about the police body camera footage, so I don't want to have to self-censor and shy away from covering certain topics that I think that need to be covered. So I couldn't do this without you, so I appreciate your support. If you guys like these videos, I hope you'll consider supporting the channel by tipping me through Patreon or PayPal. Click the links in the description below. Of course, you can go to my online store, markdice.com, get yourself an awesome shirt, and support this channel at the same time. So, thanks again, guys, for always having my back. I really couldn't do this without you. So, check back tomorrow for a new report, and I will see you soon.